on here. Okay, so um, what we have is uh, tutorial number five. So you have to open um, your fourth tutorial and we're going to start working from right there. Okay, so we're going to extend this. We're going to make a new uh, section. So this is, uh, we'll call this an A section and we're going to make a B section. Here's the first thing you want to do. We're going to mute our scales and arpeggios. Okay. And I want to expand this view here. Let me get rid of the editor. I'm going to hide the editor. Okay. So we're going to expand every track that we have by going near it you click and drag up to the end of measure 16 okay so we have eight measures we're gonna drag this out for another eight measures we're gonna do that to our bass we're gonna do that to our drums Make sure you're right on the line when you do this. We're going to do it to our effect. And you don't have to do it to your acoustic guitar. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, you, you can do it with your acoustic guitar. Just that we're going to keep it muted. This is going to be only for reference. Once you put in the melody, you need to know which notes you're going to be able to use. Um, okay. So... Here's the chords that we're going to be adding, and this is part of your Schoology assignment. Let's go to our editor. Let's go to measure, where are we, measure 17, the beginning of measure 17. Okay. So, we're going to be adding an E-flat major chord. So here we go. We press the command key. We need to, so I let go, and we need to extend these, are going to be about um, exactly one, one uh, measure each. So it's going to be whole notes. So our major third, E flat, okay, so E flat, F, so G is going to be our major third press the command key and then our minor third is going to be a B flat okay let's go to our next chord our next chord is going to be a B flat minor chord so we're gonna take this this is our root it's B flat it's gonna be minor So our minor third is going to be D flat, and our major third, I'm sorry, our ma our our uh, our fifth is going to be a major third from the third to the fifth. It's going to be an F. Okay, so that's the remember the to make the minor chord, we need from the root to the third to be a minor third from the third to the fifth. It's going to be a major third. Okay. Our next chord is going to be an A-flat major chord. So let's find the root. There's our root. No, we're um, right, right here. That's A-flat. Right here. So A-flat. Uh, we need our major third. And then from the third to the fifth is a minor third. It's going to be an E-flat. Okay? Now, this chord is going to go from A flat major to A flat minor. So our root is the same. It's A flat and the fifth is the same. It doesn't change. The only thing that changes is from the third. Instead of this major third, this becomes a minor third. And that way, uh, you have from the root to the third is minor, from the third to the fifth is major. Okay, so the fifth is the same in major and minor chords. It's a, it's a perfect fifth. 
the only thing that changes is the third okay so we have our four chords let's listen to them good now we're gonna add a seventh uh, to the chords and then on the last chord we're gonna add a sixth so um, on the first chord we're just going to add let me see here it's gonna be a major third from the fifth to the seventh because we want to make an E flat major uh, seventh chord okay so let's listen to it all right so that's it it's gonna be D our next chord is going to be a B flat minor chord B flat minor um, we're gonna add a minor seventh because this is also gonna be called uh, E flat um, uh, B flat minor seventh chord. So from the fifth to the seventh, it has to be a minor third. Okay, so remember the minor third is going to be three half steps. So you start from here, from here it's going to be one, two, three. Okay, so we have a B flat minor seventh chord. Now on our A flat major chord, we're going to add a major seventh chord. Okay, so from the fifth to the seventh is going to be a major third, and that's going to be four half steps away. So it's going to be from here, we have one, two, three, and four. Four half steps away to give us our major third from the fifth to the seventh. Um, if we were to put a minor third, uh, third here from the fifth to the seventh um, then we would have a different chord because if you have a major chord and a minor seventh from the fifth to the seventh then you have something called a dominant chord a dominant chord or a seventh chord okay this one here is a major seventh chord this one here is a minor seventh chord okay this one is a major seventh chord. So um, if you have a major chord with a major seventh, it's going to be a major seventh chord. Okay? So that's what we're doing right now. Now this A flat becomes minor. And what I want to do is I want to add the sixth. So we're just adding color tones here. Okay? From the fifth to the sixth. It's two half steps away. So it's going to be... Uh, from B flat No, 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 it's E flat E flat To F Okay, so let's listen to our chords with the color tones now. Okay, so we have the major seventh chord minor seventh chord major seventh chord and a minor sixth chord here. Here we go I think it sounds pretty, very nice. It sounds beautiful. Okay. Now we have our new, our new four measures here, which we're going to be calling a B section. Now we're just going to add, uh, we're going to extend them four more measures. There we go. That's it. So we have eight new measures of a B section. Now let's go to our base. Here's our base. So far, the bass, we're dealing with only whole notes. What we're going to do for the contrasting section is we're going to switch from whole notes to eighth notes. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and, okay? So let's do the first four measures. Starting on measure 17, remember the bass follows the root of the chord. So the root of the chord here on measure 17 we have an E flat major seventh chord. So our root is going to be E flat. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go down to our bass 
and let's add E flat. So we're going to go down here. So it's going to be on the first octave and it's called E flat 1. So E flat 1. We're going to have to shorten it. So I just let go of the command key and it shortens it. Now every time I click on it, press command, it's going to give me an eighth note. I have to drag it back sometimes. Now you can keep clicking at this point. You can uh, keep clicking or you can um, just copy and paste. I'm going to copy and paste. For that, I need to extend my... Um, the oh, Okay, see, see, that's not, that's not good. Let me see here. Okay. So I click on the bottom bracket and I just extend the area that I'm working with. Otherwise, you're going to have different sections and you don't want that. So now our area, our work area has been expanded. Now I can copy and paste properly. Okay, so let's go to our next chord. Our next chord is, um, man, why does it keep going back to the beginning? Is a B flat. So it's going to be, the roots are B flat and then A flat. A flat for the rest of it. Okay, so we got a B flat and A flat. Let's do that. So we're gonna go down to B flat. I'm just gonna. So let's spot our B flat. Where's our B? Uh, I'm gonna use this B flat over here. That's a B flat. So I'm just gonna copy this. Uh, well, for me, I can do a right click copy. So just place the cursor wherever you want it to start and then go ahead and paste. Now you move them up. Okay, good. Now um, I need my A flat. So it's right here. I'm going to paste and it put them somewhere else. I'm going to have to drag it up. And I'm going to do it once more. Right click and paste. So that's it. We have our A flat in eighth notes. Um, now let's see what this sound. Well, I'm going to expand it first. Okay, so now we have this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and expand it. Before you expand it, you should probably listen to it to see what it sounds like. Okay, so. I'm going to listen to both of these at the same time first. It gives it a different effect. It's like a pulsating, like a pulsating uh, effect, like bump, 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 bump. So that's good because a B section is supposed to contrast with the A section. Okay, now our drums, we're going to keep them the same, so I'm going to go ahead and extend the drums. Um, eight more measures. Um, for the contrasting section, we are not going to use the seismic uh, siren effect uh, because we need, like I said, it needs to be a little bit different. A little bit different. Um, we do not need this anymore um, for now. Uh, but we do want to add a different effect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, add something that I already kind of, I had a preview of this. I already figured it out Previ previous to making this um, tutorial. So here it is. Um, what I decided to add was this instrument. And as soon as you guys uh, turn in your survey, um, and they call you from district, they'll install all your instruments. You'll have access to all the instruments. Make sure you turn in that survey so they can call you to install all the instruments with the administrative password. Okay, so my new instrument is right here. I need a, I, I want it to be all the way down, so I'm going to just click and drag. And this is the way I'm going to order my tracks, okay? That's it. You notice how everything else moved. So the instrument that I'm going to be using is going to be under synthesizers 
it's going to be under bells and it's going to be called dreamy bells that's it now um, what happened uh, here let me try this again so I'm gonna go to synthesizers bell and I want this to be uh, dreamy dreamy bells there we go okay we got it okay so now I'm gonna hide the library and I'm ready to put in my notes so I press E to hide uh, to show the editor I press the E key you can also just go to view and your show your editor okay now we're ready to put in our notes here for this new effect that we're gonna be using I'm gonna start on measure 17 And what I'm going to do is, in order for me to know which notes to play for this, I need to be, I need to go based on the chords. The chords is the harmony of your song. It's kind of like the canvas that's, that's uh, being, being painted. So that's, um, everything needs to align vertically. So on this measure, measure 17, you need to have... Uh, your harmony to align with this chord on measure 18 you need to have your harmony to align with this chord etc whenever you're writing for strings or you're harmonizing anything like vocal harmonies your your notes have to align with whatever chord you're on okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the fifth and the seventh of each chord the fifth and the seventh and I'm gonna copy those notes into the new effect and that's gonna be my effect uh, in this case it's gonna be the fifth and the sixth okay so let's go to that dreamy bells starting from measure make sure that you're starting from measure 17 um, and here are the notes that I'm gonna be adding so we have okay Let's, I'm going to go to the fourth octave here. Okay. So I'm going to press my command key, and it's going to be a whole note. So that's the fifth, and the seventh is going to be D. Starting on measure 17, you have um, B flat 3, and D4. So this is a fourth octave. This would be the fourth octave. This would be the third octave. Okay. On measure 18, for our B flat minor chord, well, it's a B flat minor seventh chord now. The fifth is going to be this F. And our minor seventh is going to be this A flat. Okay. Now for our A flat major seventh chord on measure 19, we have the fifth, which is going to be E flat. And then we have our major seventh on top of that, and it's uh, it's not aligned, so I'm gonna have to drag it back. There we go. Now for the next measure, we have the same fifth because the A flat major chord became an A flat minor chord, but this time we added the sixth of the chord instead of the seventh. So now let's listen back to this. I'm going to pull the volume down a little bit. I'm going to solo my track, only this track and the chords at the same time. I need to make sure that I'm on measure 17 and I'm going to listen to both of them at the same time and let's see if it sounds harmonious. <laughs>
Okay. Um, now let's listen to everything at the same time, starting from measure 17. I'm going to un solo so we can hear everything. Now we have drums into the mix and everything else. And here's, and I'm going to pull the volume here for the Dreamy Belts a little bit more. It's supposed to be just a background effect. So let's see what uh, everything sounds like now. What we added here, our B section. Here's our B section. <laughs> And I forgot to extend my um, Dreamy Bell uh, effect here, my notes. So you do the same thing. So you have now eight measures of the new B section. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. What we're going to be doing next is we're going to be copying and pasting the A section back into... Um, this section here which is going to be another A section so our form is going to be called the beginning is going to be called A the contrasting section is going to be called B and then we're going to go back to A so we're going to have to paste the material from the A section back uh, after the B section so we have an A B A form and that's pretty much all we're going to do um, right now um, if you guys uh, have any questions, send me a message. Make sure that you uh, are answering the questions on your Schoology and you turn that in as you guys are, are, you know, are working on this with a tutorial. And it's very important that you submit your survey that I sent to you. Um, it's on notifications on Schoology and I also sent you a, a message, an email on Schoology so that you guys can get all the uh, instruments installed into your uh, garage band loops okay and that's all for today